Who's that? Again. Oh, again, I've had enough. So, when I built this loft and I did the light in, in here, I stupidly installed a PIR sensor there. Can you see it? So it's a passive infrared. I thought, when I come up the stairs, great, that's going to come on, trigger it. No need to run switch wires down here or to a switch here, but in reality, it's awful. It comes on randomly in the night and we sleep with the door open because we've got children. So we like, we're in the loft, so we like to hear what's going on. So basically what I have ordered is, as you can see, because I don't want to be getting cables in these walls because it's all finished. And I built this so there's, I know where there's timbers and there's like timbers up here blocking it. So I'd have to try and drill holes and stuff. So we've got a controller for a kinetic wireless switch, okay? And what I've picked up is two of the MK wireless grid switches, okay? And they're simply a module that go into a, okay, I shouldn't do that because they only have 200,000 presses, I believe. I've also picked up the grid for it, which that literally just clicks in there and the face plates, yeah? And they do look quite nice. They are exactly like the MK range, okay? If, mm, yeah, if a little off color, but to be honest, you're not gonna notice that when it's, might be the light actually. Anyway, so all we are doing today, very simply, is we are going to cut a new switch in here. No cables or wires needed. We are then going to cut a switch in here. No cable or wires needed. I'm then gonna jump in. So believe it or not, I've still got a loft here, look. So what I'll do is I'll jump in the loft. Um, I'll show you the cabling up here. I think I did this on Rock Rose, as I can't remember, seven, six or seven years now. But what we've got up here, it already has a switch feed a neutral, a live and an earth, okay? So we're gonna disconnect that, leave it in, cause I'm not filling the hole. And then that, this, these two lights, so one and two spotlights will then work off of this kinetic switch here and the kinetic switch down there. So just one other thing I've got to do, this light switch does these landing lights here. And this was the loft light switch. So obviously I just converted that, ran the cables up from here to, um, feed the new loft lights and the ensuite lights. But this is also a kill switch because I was getting so annoyed that that light kept coming on. I thought, right, I'm gonna put a switch here. But obviously when you turn that switch off, this light switch and light and fan no longer works because that switch kills the feed up to the loft. So basically all I've got to do is disconnect this switch, put a blank plate on it and put three way goes in there. So the feed just carries on through and then there's no way of switching that feed off so we don't lose the ensuite lights. So quite simply, all we have to do is cut in a dry lining box here, which I will do now. One meter to the bottom. So I'm gonna take my measurement from the top step because I want it to be in line and match. So there's gonna be my one meter. And I know that there's no timber between this bit here, okay? So I'll take my measurement. Take my box, level it up. Could use your laser level, but it's just take you longer to get the laser out than them. So just do this to be honest. Okay, and just mark the top. 
and then cut him out. Right, so imagine if I now had to do that, drill some holes, get a cable down here, then get a cable from there up to there, um, and effectively this is it now, look, put your box in. Simple as that. And this is just called a dry lining box. And all we do now is we screw our grid, our grid into there. Like that. Put our little switch in. And then put the faceplate on. It's simple, as simple as that. So that then gives us our switch at the bottom of the stairs. It will turn the module on and off. And then you can add, I think it's up to 10 modules. I've got a little tiny nick there to do and there to do, but that's now installed. We're gonna go and do the same with the one upstairs. What I've done now is cut that switch in. I didn't think it necessary to show you that again, because it's very boring. So we just click the switch in, like so. Get the grid system screwed in. And then this again is going to give us our switch at the top of the stairs so we can, when we come up, we can switch it off. Oh, yep. Don't drop your screwdriver down the stairs. That's not good. Right, I've retrieved my screwdriver. Nobody was injured because there's no one else in the house apart from me. So, again, we're just going to get the little switch, making sure that the clicker is at the bottom. Put him in and then screw the MK faceplate on. So if this was a rewire or you were coming to do this in someone's house, I would still be ripping up floors, cutting holes and getting cables in. And this is taking me roughly five minutes. All right, just to do the two switches, cut them in, move up, hoover up. Yeah, that's what's taking the time. It's taken longer to hoover up than it actually has to just cut these two switches in. And when I said module, I meant switches. You can add 10 switches to one module. So that's the switch that's now gonna to talk to the receiver, which we're gonna do now. Right, before I jump in the loft, we'll have a quick look at this, okay? This is the controller of the Kinetic Wireless Switch Installation Instructions, blah -de blah So, they give you a sticky pad if you want to stick it in a box, but I mean, you don't have to put it in a sticky box if you don't want to. So look, very simply, live and neutral in, live and neutral out, and the live and neutral out will refer to the um, the lights that you want to be switching, yeah? So this is effectively going to be your switch. And then just the little wireless switches we've just done will control it, look. Live neutral in, live out, neutral out. So it's very, very simple um, to install. I'll jump in the loft and then we'll set it up. And I also believe these have got a fuse on them just to protect. Let's just make sure that they go up to 10 switches can be paired with one controller. So control load 6 amps, maximum load 500 watt LED or 1100 watt other loads. Blah -de blah Okay, so there's that if you want it. And then we'll just code them up and pair them up. I've not been in this loft for ages. And as you can see, I did all my spotlights off of rock roses. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to find, I think, I, I don't know if I think I just did it off of a free court over there. See it coming out of the Celotex, that's got to be the light. And then I think the free core will run back to the junction box there. Back in the day when we did junction boxes, 
So all we gotta do basically is um, take the free call out of the PIR and put it into the um, Quinetic box and we'll mount it up in the loft. But I'll get up there first and, and I'll go for it. Right, here we go, lovely Celotexy city. That's the down light on the landing and that is the um, PIR sensor. So all I'm gonna do is cut that wire as short as I can flip it back and use it to feed the kinetics uh, controller and the um, um, so pull him back and have that here and he can sit he can sit on top here and do all his bits from there I had to get me big steps so at me neck so I've powered up the unit I'll just show you what I've done I don't think I need to link so we got the to the the lights have got the neutral straight to them. So we haven't got to wire this. So if you were using this from day from day dot, you basically wire in and wire out. Okay. So I'll just show you what I've done. So effectively, we've got the brown coming in as the feed, the neutral power in the unit, and all it's doing is switching that black with some brown sleeve on it. Okay. So I believe all you do is hold this for three seconds, and you should get that blinking light. Okay. And then we go to the switch and we press the switch and it should pick up, it should pick up that. And then it should, the unit should pick that up and then we should be able to switch the lights on, which they've come on and they've gone off and they come on and they go off. So no wires, no cables. And I think we need to do that process again to learn another switch. So we just hold that for three seconds until he starts to blink. Okay, that's now in learning mode. And we're gonna to go to our two-way switch, effectively downstairs. Click him so he recognizes. So that should now learn that. And then we can switch him on, look, on, off. And you've seen that, there's no wires. No cables. So we'll just try it on. We come up here and it should work as a two way. That should switch him off. And then you can switch him on and then run back down here and switch that off. Bloody beautiful. Right, well, I'm going to go and switch the, put that all together now. So there we go. So my conclusion fantastic product and I'm not being paid to uh, say this 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 little setup probably cost me about 80 pounds for the two switches the module and the grid etc delivered can it save you money 100% it can save you money time and hassle literally that's taken me half an hour to put two switches in the wall and connect the module up and if you were doing it from sort of day one on a rewire I can just see it saving you time mount a box mount each light which you want to control with a receiver pair up the switches easy these do 30 i think they're 30 meters indoors and like something ridiculous outdoors i will check it uh, i will check it um i haven't got a switch um instructions up here but yes by all means they can save you money this is the first time i've ever used it and it's so simple so yeah if you enjoy the video please 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 give it a thumbs up Give me a comment down below. It helps the channel out and subscribe. Press the subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.